Hey, what is up you guys? This is Nacho here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. You guys have literally been begging for some more Godspots videos and I know it's been around a month since I made one, but there's good reasons behind that. So today's map, we're going to be doing Breakout, so let's get right into it. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care. So the reason I haven't made a lot of these in the past month is just because Infinite Warfare is really close to the end of its life cycle. I'm only missing around 3 or 4 maps to finish the series off, so I finished I would finish it as the game got closer to finishing. So I hope you guys don't mind, but let's get right into Breakout, man. So starting out, if you spawn on Team Deathmatch on this side, I'm going to give you guys one of my favorite opening routes that will give you a lot of visibility and give you a lot of ideas of what you want to do on your opening push. So what I like to do is I just come straight out this way. and what I like to do is I always grab onto this high wall run and try to grab it as high as you can and you jump out and what will happen is from that high vantage point, you can see people who are crossing over from the right side, you can see people who are pushing out, you can see people in the window. So, you know, think about it as a TDM is starting out, right? As a TDM is starting out, you're trying to figure out what the enemy is trying to do, you're trying to get the first blood. So this gives you a great idea of where enemies are, you can pretty much see everything. You know, if you just run out completely out of the spawn, you're completely blocked by everything, you can't even see the window, you can't shoot through that. The only engagement you're gonna have is right here, and if there's nobody there, you're gonna to be easily picked off from the window because you'll lose that gunfight from here. Now, one thing I want to showcase is a way to get around this map without ever having to be on the ground level. Now, a lot of people are not familiar with this for whatever reason. I know it took me a long time to finally figure out that this was here, but if you come to the backside of Breakout, you can pretty much see we're at the edge of the map. There is a hidden wall run that will take you from this side of the map all the way to the other. So all you would want to do is just grab onto the wall and just continue this all around. And this can also help if you're trying to be sneaky. Let's say you know the enemy team has complete control of mid map and you're trying to get from this side of the map all the way to the other this would be a great way to combat the enemy without really being seen now if you have ghost this is also really good uh because if they get a uav as i almost choked out wara lol xd but uh you know if the if you don't have ghost and they get a uav they're still gonna notice you coming over here so coming this way is really vital that you have ghost or you just pray that the enemy won't have a uav up now once you get to this point of the map you're pretty much free to do whatever you want to do i like to check this room to make sure there's no enemies in here and then i always like to push this out and try to clear the laundromat up there a lot of the times if there's like an enemy sniping up there you can pretty much just bomb rush this if they don't have trip mines and get a free kill one thing i will advise is that as you come out of this doorway you just got to be careful because there might be enemies over here on the right side and they can't easily kill you if you just try to cross here now this next spot is my favorite spot to take out people that are camping in the windowsill. Now this is one of my most overpowered spots for this map. You guys will find tons of uses in this and no matter what game mode you're playing on this map. You will catch a lot of enemies by surprise. So what I like to do is I like to grab this wall room right here. A lot of people never seem to do this. So let's say you're over here in this area of the map, right? Let's say you're in an engagement or something. You, you peek your head out over here. Oh, the guy starts shooting you. You try to run away. A lot of people what they'll do is they'll try to wrap around right here come out the doorway or they'll try to be cheeky and then just come back out and try to re-challenge that the thing is from the windowsill that is such an easy gunfight to win it's so predictable all you gotta do is pre-aim this or you can go here so what i like to do is let's say i try to you know be a little bit cheesy i'll bait out a fight so the window guy will shoot me he'll know i'm here and what i like to do is as i'm weak i'll pretty much just come out wrap around this high wall run and then jump out and shoot down on him a lot of the times they will never expect that because they'll be pre-aiming down here and on their screen you're gonna be flying out from up here now like I said this is my favorite spot there are tons of uses for this what I can also do with this is I like to go this way and then jump out at enemies if I know they're coming out this way what this allow you to do is that enemies will not be able to see you when you jump out so let's say they're spawning back here and they push out they're gonna be looking right here and they're not gonna be expecting somebody to be in this area killing them and last but definitely not the least use for this spot you can also use this to wrap all the way around and then jump out at 
my enemies to hide on these crates. Now, if you time your boost good enough, you can make it all the way around. If you can, you just gotta manage it pretty well. You gotta wrap around this thing and then just jump out and you can pretty much clear out enemies who are hiding in this corner who are pretty much just waiting right here by the crates being annoying trying to bait you out. Another thing I like to do is let's say we just won the engagement right here in the middle of the map and I know that they're gonna be spawning in that back right area because my teammate pretty much controls this whole side of the map. What I like to do is I always, always, always grab the warren right here. If they're gonna be pushing out of this room, this will catch so many of them off and you can just keep wall running this and keep shooting them. Now, this spot is pretty much identical to what I had on the other side, although I will admit this side is not as good because you don't have as much cover pretty much wrapping around the wall, but you can use this to be cheeky and you can even use this to poke around enemies from over here. Now, pretty much, let's say you get stuck in this corner, it's the same scenario as the last one. You get caught in the corner, there's enemies over there, you can pretty much just high wall run this and then jump out and re-engage them. Now this next spot is something I just figured I'd point out because it's kind of a general tip for Call of Duty and I know I used to do it when I first started playing Infinite Warfare. I didn't realize until I became a way better player or a way better player uh, that I actually did this myself. So what a lot of people do when they come to this wall run is, uh, you know, on this side of the map, they'll pretty much just wall run this. Okay, we made it to the end. Nice. Okay, let me check the staircase. Let me go over here and engage. Now, let me tell you why this is completely wrong. Infinite Warfare is so highly based off of your environment and how well you use your exo abilities or your exo suit. Um, as, as much as that sucks, you know, it's boots off the ground and you gotta learn to play with the environment. Now what I always do, and this has always netted me way more kills and way more coverage of the map, is I always try to find other things to war run in the map. So I would go from here to here and then potentially even like over here and then you pretty much just covered way more of the map just without even touching the ground. And I know that seems like such a small thing but you'll come to realize so many enemies, so many people are average players in Call of Duty. They're so used to playing against average people that they're used to people just poking around this way. They're used to people poking around this way. They're not used to people flying out at them. They're not used to people going on wall runs and, you know, taking advantage of the environment. That's what really separates a really good Call of Duty player from just an average one. You gotta learn to play with your environment. Now, this next spot is just something really quick, and I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but if you hit this wall run really quickly, you can pretty much just bank in to the window and that's really easy access it pretty much avoids you having to come onto the ground and jumping into it which might expose you more to bullet fire because if you wrap around they have less visibility especially if they're over here because once you clear that halfway point you're pretty much in the window now i know i showed you guys that whole wraparound wall run earlier in the video but i just want to really showcase this area of the map and how powerful this can be now what will happen a lot of the times is engagements will start happening in this room whether it be team deathmatch especially hard point the hard point eventually moves to this area of the map a lot of engagements will start happening now once you're in this room enemies will just start trying to throw nades or just trying to throw lethals or tacticals at you uh, so once I get a couple of kills what I always like to do is if I know enemies are pushing me I'll come outside and I'll wrap around from the backside and this will give you tons tons of surprise ability you will be surprised at how many enemies will like bomb rush the room realize you're not in here wonder where you went and you are already wrapped around the building you're behind them and then you can just shoot them in the back now this obviously works a lot better if you have a uav up but if you're playing hard point like i said this is one of those really really strong things that is going to help you hold this hard point because it can take a lot of average players by surprise on this side of the map as well i just always like to grab this high wall run if i'm going to come into this mid engagement and fly out like that i usually will never come out to this and try to engage because a lot that's so predictable like i said guys this game is boots off the ground you just want to be as unpredictable as possible now in domination and one of the flags is over here located C flag and that's a really strong sp uh, spawn point also in team deathmatch right around this back corner or right around these crates on the right side those are really strong uh, spawn points in the game in general and what I like to do is after I get a couple of kills maybe like one or two kills in the doorway or right here enemies will start trying to revenge kill you so I always grab this high wall run and this works especially if people are coming from the doorway and you can just surprise them and they can't even see you and as as they come out of the doorway you can see that the top of the wall room becomes unviewable to them and you will catch tons of people by surprise once they come try to revenge kill you you can just have the advantage and surprise them with this cheeky little wall run and you can do the same thing on this side coming to the crates and just jumping out at people 
But that'll pretty much do it for this video, you guys. Let me know what map you guys would like to see next for the next God Spots. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you guys smash the like button so I know you guys want to see more of these. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, my name is Papa Nacho. Subscribe to our Nacho Nation, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Nacho Nation. <laughs>